The Blue and You and this very special behind the scenes tour of Denver's new crime lab is brought to you by the Denver Police Foundation. For more information on the foundation, visit their website at www.denverpolicefoundation.org. 75 foot double lane pistol rifle range at this point. Right now in the lab that we have, we can't fire rifles. Uh, the range is only 25 feet long and high powered rifles won't work in here. This will handle anything up to a 50 caliber BMG. And when a gun fires, you're going to get this great big huge cloud of lead that's going to surround you and the weapon you're shooting. Well, lead's not good for you. It's not part of your diet. It's not on your food tree. You're not supposed to be ingesting lead. So what we're doing right now is we've got this um, air system, and it's not on yet. You can hear it going a little bit, but it's really not on. When we do turn it on, it's going to send a, a large volume of air downrange. It's going to blow all of that lead cloud away from the shooter. And I've got a series of HEPA filters downrange that will suck up all that uh, waste and discharge it out. So it's a, it's a good system. It's a safe system. Um, the last thing we really want to do is have the shooter, you know, ingesting a lot of lead. All of our folks have lead tests every, or every six months. We want to keep it safe. Keep it safe. Well, how do you go in there and find your bullet? We don't. The range is strictly for checking functionality of a, of a weapon. Um, does it work? When we go to the courtroom, first question my firearms examiner is going to be asked is, does the weapon work? We have to fire the gun. In the old lab, we had a vertical tank. The vertical tank allowed us to recover bullets from, from handguns. We could not fire a long gun into our vertical tank. Um, not a safe thing to do. This tank has been designed to be able to handle a long gun. We fired a seven millimeter mag into it, handled it beautifully. Uh, the company that manufactured it, test fired it uh, before they ever sent it out to us with a 50 caliper. BMG round. Um, the engineering on there is phenomenal. It actually creates waves inside of the tank. You've got your um, uh, pumps down at the end will actually send the wave pattern toward the shooter. So you shoot against the wave and it takes the velocity out of the bullet almost instantaneously. Phenomenal piece of engineering. Small, small space but uh, we're able now to, to fire not only long guns, but handguns. This is a vehicle inspection bay. This used to be the sally port for the city jail. They used to do a lot of prisoner drop off here. Well, we've gutted that out. We've got new floors, new walls, new innards. And what we're doing here is we have a, a multiple space vehicle inspection bay. I, I talked to you about super glue. I've got a tent at this point. This is a super glue tent. I can put an entire vehicle in there and actually super glue the inside and outside of that vehicle. The tent's collapsible. I can bring it together. It creates a um, probably a three foot wide uh, frame that I can move out of the way if I have to. So I've got room in here for, for two vehicles. On the far side of the bay, I've got room for a large, um, large profile type vehicle. I have pneumatics, I've got uh, electricity, I've got uh, light on either side of the bays, all three bays. I've got work centers for the crime scene investigators. I've got work rooms, one for uh, fluorescence or luminol. We're checking for um, presence of uh, blood or semen that has been trying to be washed away. We can find trace elements of it. I have another room on the far side that is a, another super glue chamber, but it's the room itself is a chamber. I can put a door in it, I can put a car fender, a bumper, whatever I want in that chamber. It's big enough to handle it. So this chamber's for a car, the other one's for large items. The ones up in latent prints are for smaller items. But th this, is, this is basically our man cave. This is a place for people to come down and, and really look at a vehicle under a controlled situation. Um, again, we've come a long way.
Thanks for joining us for this very special edition of The Blue and You. The city and county of Denver now has one of the finest crime labs in the world. I'd also like to say thank you to those Denver residents who supported this bond project so that we could build this incredible new facility. That's our show for this month, and remember, the key to crime prevention is The Blue and You.